Clipper. If you're an avid user of the Notion Web Clipper, if you smash it every day and save web pages, articles and all your findings with it, this is saved to Notion. A browser extension that is exactly what the official Web Clipper should be. Let's take a look. Nadza here. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment. Everything is really appreciated. Thanks and let's move on to the video. This Save to Notion extension is available at least for Chrome and Chromium based browsers. It's also available for Firefox. I didn't find it for Safari but probably it's available also for that. Once you install it, you will have this icon around here. If we go on a random website, we can click it every time we need to save something from the web. And here we will see all the presets we save. So we can have multiple presets and depending on what we need to save we can use one on the, or the other we can create a new form in this case and call it for example web clip so this will be for anything i would like to save from the web just to have the um, url and a brief overview of the topic um, it's okay for me to save it on my personal workspace in notion now let's choose the database where we want to save it and let's choose the web clips in my case and once we choose the database here we will see many different fields and options so if we have templates available for the selected database, we can choose one. We can save the page content. In this case, I don't want to. I just need the URL. Uh, intelligently, the add-on, the extension um, looks for a link property. And in this case, uh, it's called URL for me on this web clips database and correctly assign it to the page URL property used by the extension. I can choose to save the icon of the website uh, as the icon of the saved page. I can choose to save also a front image and here uh, I can lock or unlock the different properties in order to choose them uh, in the moment I'm saving a specific page or uh, if they're locked I cannot access them and they will be saved with their default settings so the URL of course it's something I don't want to touch so I can keep it locked the name most of the times is something I want to edit a little bit at least so let's unlock it and for this first form I just leave it everything by default except for that we can click save and now we have a new form here available called web clip and if we want to use this form with this page we can click it here and as we decided we can edit the um, title the name of the page created we can click save to notion we can decide to open it in the desktop app or directly in the web browser and as you can see here the icon of the website is correctly used as the icon of the page the 
cover of the website is used, is used for the content of the page. The URL is used here correctly. And if I go back to the web clips database and I take a look at the main gallery view, I will see that the saved website it's showing perfectly fine here but let's try a more advanced scenario let's go to this article here from Forbes so we have images we have a bunch of text and I want to save it all and assign it to a task and read it later so let's click again the save to notion let's create a new form um, workspace is okay this time i want to reach the my things database it's my main database where i put almost everything i need task events and trips and everything i want to sort um, in this case i want to use a template I know I have already prepared so let's use this task work we want to save the whole page content in this case I don't want to use the icon from the website because my template already has an icon assigned and I was I want to use that one it's okay for me to save a front image so it can show up in some gallery view or something like that the link property is correctly assigned to the page url the name again it's something i want to edit but this time i can add a due date and i can access all the properties of this things database i can add for example the urgency let's change the name of this form in things work and save it now we can use it on this page we can choose the due date and let's say it's today let's say it's quite urgent to take a look at it let's change the title like this and save it this time i want to open it directly in the desktop app and click open browser prompt everything is fine and notion is opening up As you can see, I have the Notion Enhancer enabled on my desktop app. And everything looks super good. The due date, the urgency, many other um, properties are already here. The link and the beauty is they have all the content of the article the images the text also the links are working fine so this is awesome really awesome the possibility to have multiple forms and really have the flexibility to quickly save everything we need and exactly what we need and what we want and how we want and where we want it's incredible it's really nice and it's really how the web clipper for notion should be and it's awesome to have it a bunch of things we can click this settings um, icon here and go back to the form settings and change those anytime without any issue and for example here I want to add the tags 
and leave them editable and save let's go back to this article and save it also in the web clips without all the article content just the link the title and now that i added the tags i can use directly all the tags i collected in my main tags database um notion service and i can add as many as you want and we can save it open it again in the web app and it's already here also on the browser and everything works flawlessly it's amazing it's perfect we don't have the content this time but we have the link and everything works as expected another great feature about this extension is that once we saved something something from the web we can for example highlight some text and save just that snippet to the page we just created just right click and add highlight as you can see the text is highlighted and if we go back to our page we saved on the web clips in the web clips database as you can see we have exactly that snippet of text as a notion block and if this extension wasn't amazing enough this is the cherry on the cake for sure so this was save to notion go grab it it's amazing it will be your best internet friend thanks for sticking till the end and see you to the next one